After less than a year as one of Kelowna International Airport's low-cost carrier airlines, Lynx Air will no longer be flying people to and from Vancouver. You know, the airlines are not going to stay in a market very long if they're not seeing a return. There's, there's, a, there's a cost associated to operating the aircraft uh, into these uh, locations. So they're going to uh, look at how uh, demand plays out and then move their assets so uh, when they actually need to. Lynx Air tells Cassinet that while the Vancouver Kelowna route will end, the summer capacity to YLW will remain the same with four weekly flights. Uh, from time to time when we're looking at uh, air service, uh, airlines uh, based on market demand uh, will add in or drop off uh, flights. So this is uh, uh, really nothing unusual. If you look at uh, the, the service uh, between Kelowna and Vancouver, it's certainly uh, certainly well served. Uh, but in terms of links, uh, they are operating you know twice a week uh, right now to Calgary, um, and uh, coming in the spring in April, uh, they'll be operating service out of Toronto, uh, Calgary to Kelowna and return. When asked if the decision by Lynx Air would have a trickle-down effect on other low-cost carriers cutting flights, YLW had this to say. We're the 10th busiest airport in the country. Uh, there's certainly demand uh, for uh, a variety of air carriers and types uh, uh, in our market. And we are a predominantly a leisure market. So uh, those kinds of point-to-point -point service that are offered by uh, ultra-low-cost low cost carriers uh, fit well into this marketplace. Kelowna's YLW will continue to provide daily service to Vancouver using alternate carriers like Central Mountain Air, Air North, Air Canada and WestJet. I'm Brayden Ursel in Kelowna for Castanet.